Hey, I just got a delivery. Let's find out what's in it. Two supports. Oh. Very large mechanism. Cutters, cutter holders, and a handle. And this, oh, and that's my laser. Then we got this. Let's see how I can get this thing open. Bar is very heavy duty. All right, so this is the Clark deep hollowing system. I looked and looked and looked, hadn't been able to decide which one I wanted. But then I finally settled on this one. This is the rack that mounts in on the, uh, the ways. I've got a straight cutter here, which I think will do 90% of what I need. And because I can get, I can do the, uh, the back hollowing with my easy wood tools. Cause that's up close i think that'll that'll be all right but i'm eager to give this a try so stay stay with me so as i see this this is the business end it slides through the collar and there's a roller on this end that makes it easier to control i bought the um, side handle will help control it that will go here and I also bought the laser attachment for being able to control depth so these arms will mount on here with this bar on top of it got a nice big piece of Bradford pear just waiting to go. I can't wait to try this.
All right, so I'm gonna go get the deep hollowing tool, the Clark deep hollowing tool. I decided to, uh, for this first go around, something a little smaller, and I'm gonna give myself a head start with the Forstner bit. But uh, so here we go. First time rank amateur with a deep hollowing system, trying it out for the first time. Here we go. So this is the cutter head that I bought with it and this is going to be the first one I give a shot to with it. Again, this is the Clark deep hollowing system. It's one of the more obscure ones out there. The guy has his own, I don't know if it's a home shop, but it's not a big business. But the thing, this thing seems fairly rugged, so I'm eager to try it. So as you can see, it's got a bracket here. It's got a collar that rides on this rod that traverses laterally. And then it's got uh, another collar here with a bearing on it. And the tool itself has a, a, a slot cut in it that rides on that bearing. And it runs fairly smoothly, but um, yeah, I'm eager to give this a shot, so let me get going. rest back a little bit and I think I might bring the tool itself back a little bit. Yeah, let's do that.
let's uh, see how well the laser is doing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do anything further down there. I'm actually getting to the point where I need to finish this off with my easy wood tools because um, the uh, I don't have the crook neck for for the for the deep hollowing system, and I think I can reach it better right here with the with the easy wood tool. So let me do that. So let's go take a look at the Clark Deep Hollowing Tool. All right, so here's the the Clark Deep Hollowing Tool in all its glory. If you've used this and you've seen my video and you and I'm doing something wrong, please let me know because you know I kind of put it together as I thought it should go as I've seen others do it and if I've got something in the wrong place let me know I'd appreciate it but here you got the laser pointer and we have the two brackets that hold it to the main cutting arm there it is the main cutting arm looks like it's oh it's like an inch and a quarter solid steel there's the cutter head uh, that cutting uh, disc on top is is fairly aggressive I'm um, not sure how I would have to sharpen that, but I, I could turn it many, many times before I have to before I have to replace it. Um, and I'm sure I can use standard carbide tips on there if I want to. Also, any rate, here is the bracket that mounts to the ways. It's got the. Uh, sleeve that rides on the the traverse um, is back and forth or side to side and then you have the rod slides to this other sleeve with this roller bearing right here hope you can see that and it works fairly smooth i was i was happy with it and it went a lot faster than i thought it would any rate um for my first use uh, i i like it um i hope to do a lot more deep hollowing and i've got a couple big bradford pears lined up ready to go one right here it's getting some epoxy put in it and um Another one outside that's even bigger than that one. So stay tuned. So that's it for today. I got my first deep hollowing done. Though it wasn't all that deep. It was uh, it was deeper than I normally can get with my easy hollowing tools without it getting kind of sketchy and getting a lot of catches. And I didn't get the first catch with uh, with the deep hollowing system. And I uh, did uh, this is Magnolia. I'm very pleased with the results, and um, this one will be a good one for sale at the craft fairs that I've got coming up. All right, appreciate you watching. If you think you've gotten anything out of this, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Please leave me comments. I answer every one. And as always, please stay safe. Everyone have a good day. Bye-bye. <music>